Hello, my delicious friends, and welcome back to the Sunless Sea. It's Professor Bright, and that music is quite fitting for our current situation. We have no supplies, to the point where we have actually had to eat people. Our, uh, ex-crew members. There we go, there's a term for them. So, we're gonna have to figure out a way to get back to London and get some supplies. Oh, hello. Memories of plenty. Hot porridge with creamy milk and honey, the smell of roast chicken, rubbery lumps the way they cook them on Mutton Island, and the crisp flesh of a newly unearthed uh, Eden fungus. Oh, God. Distract yourself? You could find something else. Anything else. Run emergency drills. Debate philosophy. Or we could obsess over the taste. I think we distract ourselves. The other path sounds like it might cause some problems later. A busy day. You walk the deck, watching the crew, addressing infractions and laziness. You are suitably distracted, and they know their captain is watching. Got rid of some terror. Delightful. So, my plan is to cut south to Demos Island, because I know I can gather supplies there, and I know they sell supplies there, and I kind of hope that they s will buy our souls, but I don't... I don't know that. Um... And our fuel situation isn't great. And our terror situation isn't great. This is not good. We could feast. We could also head over to, um, the Chapel of Lights. But I don't know if we'd make it soon enough. Uh, let me check the map again. Eh, it's a tough choice. I think we head to Demos Island. And hope our hunger holds out till then. Shouldn't be too much longer. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Bonnie Reef's to the southeast, so we'll pass them by. Or spot them. Yes, that is east. Got east and west mixed up. Be quiet, I'm stressed, okay? Things are not going great for us, but there is Demos Island. You guys just need to hold out for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Literally minutes. And there's a jellyfish we can kill for supplies if we absolutely need to. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I believe. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't believe in you. Drink Zoop. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you guys won't try to kill and eat me. And I won't have to eat any of you. Delicious though you may be. Mmm. So yes, I want to avoid being unaccountably peckish. Because, at least in Fallen London, there are consequences for doing so. Uh, you start pursuing the name. Which causes other things to happen. Not many of them pleasant. There are implications of what the Masters might have done to a... Someone. Uh... There are no more than 50. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? For what possible reason would I be mad? Not mad at all. Okay, so... There goes that plan. Um... Uh... I mean, I could hope there's something at Shepherd Isle that decreases our hunger. Or maybe just hope to make it all the way back to London. Ugh... And our fuel isn't doing great either. Um, sorry, guys, you're going to be terrified. I know, but... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So wait, how are you supposed to use that? Because I'm pretty sure you start at terror level 50 every single time once you've gotten above 50. Once. Hmm. Well, maybe after you carouse, because that does decrease terror. Okay, I guess it is usable, but 
not really useful. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, you are a Caligo class cruiser. Or a tramp steamer. Either way, not gonna deal with it. You're those ones that used to blink. Probably still would if I attacked you. Anyhow, I stop by Shepherd's Watch. Or she Shepherd's Wash. And hopefully they have something. Oh, Steam Pinnace. You got fuel for me? You got food? Well, I know you have something I can eat anyway. Mm. Ah, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Supplies, yes! Perfect. Okay. Feeling slightly better. Still not feeling great, but feeling slightly better at least. I'm really disappointed we couldn't sell those souls over at Palmerston. That's... I mean, I guess we'll just have to go to hell, and then maybe buy Parabola Linen from them as well. Just so we're making money both trips. Uh, as for Tails... Well, Compiler Report, of course. Could go for a picnic. Could do. Hmm... What about those three graves? Huh. Who sleeps beneath the turf over on that island to the northwest? Hunters at rest. The Chelinae, right? They're hunters. They killed a turtle the size of London and built their city in its shell. A ship from the Chelinae came by, hunting the Midnight Whale. Three of them had died cowards, so their bodies couldn't go into the Z. They paid us for land, in whale ivory. Still got a piece, but I keeps it safe. Interesting. I mean, I knew that they lived in a dead turtle because of that delightful event where we had to kill off some uh, Kaganian privateers. Uh, well, we didn't really kill them, we drove them off. But, that's interesting. Not allowed to die at Z if you're a coward. They have that whole warrior tradition thing going on. And you know what? We make it back to London. I'm pretty sure we make it back to London. Not well supplied at all, but... At least we made it back, you know? It's a beautiful thing. Alright. Whew. Ah. Oh yes, I forgot. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We won't be wasting our fuel on light. It would be really terrible if we actually made it just into London and then ran out of fuel, because that's 500 echoes that they charge you in order to tow your ship back into dock. And actually, since we don't have five or not... Since they did... Oh... Since we don't have the 500 Echoes, they'd actually take our ship and leave me in one of those little 1 HP dinghies. And uh, as much fun as that sounds, we want to avoid that. Yeah, this is what it is. An offer of assistance. Hoy, Captain, out of fuel are we? That was unwise. We can help for a reasonable price under the circumstances. Yeah. <sighs> Not something we want to be doing. Unless it's going to be our last move. But this captain still has some life in him. Uh, Doc. A breath of relief for everybody involved. Oof. A little bit more nightmare strength. That'll be a problem for later. Let's see. Oh yes, the blind bruiser. We delivered those souls. What a propitious and encouraging occasion this is to meet again here in this place which has been so very fortunate for us both. Allow me to shake you warmly by the hand since you have demonstrated your unswerving commitment to fair dealing and honest conveyage. Very good. My patron will toast you. 
Uh, I do need to cover the costs. Desperately. Delightful. An encouraging leer. Hmm. Here's your compensation, and a little fuel and a few barrels of biscuits, what a certain other captain has widely surrendered for the common good. I will take the good word to my patron, and if I am a man of my word, we will see each other again. Unless a whale eats you, of course, in which case I hope you will not think poorly of me for wishing that we will not. <laughs> ah, I do kind of like the guy. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Once more we find ourselves here on the quayside, what is, I suppose you might say, the lip of the well of opportunities. Let us both drink deeply from this well, by which I mean my patron as a task for you. Take a payment across the ocean and bring back a little package. Agree. Of course, if you return to London without the little package, I'll probably have something sharp to say about it. Or we could refuse. Hmm. I think we refuse this one. Just because I'm not sure where they're going to send us. And I don't want to... I remember how I died the first time. Friend. Although... Hmm. But then, London has been inspecting me a lot recently. You know what? You know. No, no, no. We were going to go on the straight and narrow path. Noble disappointment. I will not pretend that this has improved my evening. On the contrary, it has left me a deep sadness in my heart. Notwithstanding, however, I might say that you have acquitted yourself honorably, and I do not think my patron will feel the need to pursue the matter further. Not at this time, as long as you keep your mouth shut. He leans close. Tight snap shut. Good night. Ah, uh, I think we can do that. Now, I'm told... Uh, we can do something with our strategic information. Where is it? Strategic information? There you are. Right-click to use. Hmm. Okay, we just need two strategic information. And we can convert it into vital intelligence. Hmm. And there is a diplomat somewhere. Hmm. Oh, maybe on... Maybe in Khan's heart, there's a diplomat somewhere in there. It's a possibility. Regardless, we will pass. We're not going to pass on our strategic information just yet. I want to see. He will give us more. Okay, so we have a way of actually getting the vital intelligence. Okay. And he wants us to go to the Shellinate, far to the east. That just seems like a great opportunity for me. We'll, uh, given our reports, I don't think there was anything new. Well, no. Mount Palmerston is. And, hmm. Well, these two as well. I'm debating whether I want to try to submit it as fact again, but, well, you know what? Yeah, 27%, why not? Didn't work out. That would be a reason not to. And the Chapel of Lights. There's something about the Unterzee that breeds heresy and dissent. I rather think we might need to send the Bishop of Southwark out for a bit of... Christian shouting. Hmm. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see here. And with this done, I think, hmm, see who the new recruit is. Doctors and magicians. Well, we are going to be heading over to the Shellinate. I think that might be our next plan. So having a new doctor, since we're going to be losing our current doctor there, might not be a bad idea. I should have read that. I am very, very sorry. Also kind of disappointed that I didn't uh, get a chance to read it myself. He's earnest, learned, prone to jump at loud noises. 
He is soft-voiced, courteous, rarely makes eye contact, but often stares at other people's eyes from afar. I have a feeling it's on account of the fact that he lost his eye. Well, that seems very un very insensitive of me to point out. Well, let's see. Could ask about his medical career. He looks up from a wounded sailor. No, no, I mustn't. No, I have no stories I would wish you would wish to hear, he sniffs. Unless, would that be Z-Trout? Let's ask about his medical career. A dour companion, the doctor pushes more food around his plate than he puts into his mouth, and what he eats he chews until all taste has been squeezed out. Between bites he sips only water, evading all questions where opinion is sought. It's only when the subject turns to his trade that something flickers inside him, old memories of pain and pride. I fear it was my training that let me see the world for what it was, its corpus infested by malignancies with human faces. How could I dare face Hippocrates in the hereafter if I just stood by and did nothing? Nothing! His eyes meet yours for the first time, fierce, damned. If two drops of medicine can cure the body, could two drops of poison cure the world? For a moment, it actually seemed that easy. The fire fades. He pushes back his chair. Pardon me, citizen. I fear I've had my fill for today. That is intriguing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have money. I can buy supplies later. Let's chat about science. Over a light dinner of Z-Trout and Bracket Gruel. The nature of nature. Sunlight is, in certain senses, literally, quite literally, law. Without sunlight, the Earth would spin off into space, and the absence of sunlight down here means the absence of a dozen laws. Death operates unreliably, though more reliably on the Z, as you know. Geography is uncertain and shifting, and dreams... dreams. He had grown animated. Now he seems distracted. He apologizes and composes himself. It was a particular interest of mine, luminosity, the anatomy of the eye, the many liberations of night. Excuse me, the gruel is a little too rich for my tastes. You are fascinating. Oh, I can't chat about politics anymore, but I could invite him to dine over a cask of wine. Hmm. Well, I mean, I have to. I am obligated to do so, to figure out what his deal is. Go back there. Speak. Invite him to drink with you. The haunted doctor has kept to himself since dinner. Perhaps some wine will help him open up. The art of poison. I let most of them slip away peacefully, a drop of laudanum still on their tongues. For that sop to my conscience, I am most ashamed of all. The wine flows as the haunted doctor talks candidly of his past of a status that allowed him to the bedsides of many of London's most infamous, and the black medicine bag that carried the tools of both his trades, doctor and anarchist poisoner. I was a fool, he adds, a child, just a boy on a crusade, drinking in the rhetoric of the calendar council, thinking myself more than a mere poisoner. What I did, I do not regret. Would, though, that I had seen their true hearts before giving myself so freely to perdition. He wraps his leather eye patch. The sound is hollow sickly. It is a disappointment I well deserved. The lady taught me that much, at least. I... no. Another time, perhaps. The hour grows late. I thank you for the company. We have wined and dined with the haunted doctor. And is there more? Nothing yet. Oh, but this is interesting. I am intrigued by you. Ah, well. I do like those stories of betrayal and redemption. There's just... There's just something about them. Uh, you still want your zoop and your bolts of spider silk? Hmm. We're almost at a point where we would have the money for it. Almost. Hmm. Ah, but more to the point. Let's go home real quick. We could read, but... Not yet. There's something more important we need to be doing. We're writing a will. The Court of Chancery, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom it may devour, 
Ensure it doesn't get its lion tentacles on your property when you're gone. Marvelous. Baseborn and fowling piece. The lawyer appears at you like a vulture composed of crocodiles. Come now, she creaks. There's a few years in you yet, but your caution does you credit. Sign here. No, no. Ink is fine. This isn't the brass embassy. Lost 100 echoes. New total 192. I thought it cost 200 echoes. Well, now we have a will, and we can pass down our home to our next captain, if we get a next captain. Also bought this so we have a little extra mirrors. I think we're good. I think, for the moment, we are good. Thank you very much for your time, and I will see you soon.